Hey, good evening. Hey, um, my name is Scotty Warnstein and I'm running for County Commission District 2. Um, I was a, uh, a resident of Lowndes County, born and raised here, um, 1969. My wife, Lynn, who's here tonight, um, we met in high school and are soon to celebrate our 22nd wedding anniversary this summer. So we're the parents of two teenagers. Um, for me, personally, what's important to me is, um, and, and really in this order, um, I'm an ordained deacon. So my faith is very important to me. My family and friends are obviously very important. My community, and then my uh, small construction and consulting company that I, that I have here in Lyons County. Um, and because of that company, um, I've been blessed to be able to use my construction experience and to tie that with other areas of the community. For instance, um, using my professional skills to be able to help with, with uh, organizations such as Habitat for Humanity and so forth. Um, I've also been able to obtain relationships with city and county officials and I understand the dynamics um, of what goes on between the city and county and, and, and what the challenges that, that we face as people who are trying to develop our community, create small businesses and do business here, obtain business licensing, permits and so forth. Um, construction mission work has also been something that's been important to me. Um, I've done several, I've had several opportunities to do construction work in, in three different countries and um, that kind of taught me that no matter where you're at or, or a small community, small village, wherever, um, that there's kind of a common denominator there if you will. Um, and what I've seen in that is that um, it requires dedication and passion for your community. Um, and again, this, this is from kids that I saw in villages in Venezuela to, to doing work in here stateside in Chicago, um, and of course in our own community. Um, a lot of these leaders have, they have proven leadership skills, and they show fiscal responsibility. I think the same is true here in our community and should be required of our county commissioners. Um, there was also a time in my life, um, in fact I was 21 years old, um, I had no option but to display leadership. <coughs> And that was when I worked with the prison system, the Department of Corrections um, of Georgia. I started out working as a mental health um, officer, if you will, um, which was challenging in itself. Um, I had the opportunity to move into a position as a hostage negotiator, a training officer, um, a firearm instructor, and, and finally an armorer. And then shortly after that, I, I kind of ended my career there seven or eight years later as the operations analyst for the, for the prison system. I'm looking at Richard and kind of laughing. I wasn't even going to say this, but Richard and I were having a conversation the other day, and and uh, I said, just kind of casually mentioned my my time there with the prison system, and I said I, I actually sat in both of George's electric chairs, and he was like, man, that is that is one up story, and I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, dude, like if anybody says anything and you say, oh well, I sat in both of George's electric chairs, I mean, you know, you one up pretty much anything anybody can say. Now, I'm not saying I'm proud of that. I'm not saying I necessarily condone corporal punishment or whatever, but it is kind of something that was, you know, just a small part of my, of my life there with the Department of Corrections. But so anyway, so that ended as the operations analyst. Um, so I say that to say that I understand prison and jail operations, and we all know here that, you know, our, the largest part of our budget involves the sheriff's office. So I feel like I can bring, um, I can bring, um, uh, experience and know-how. I understand um, maintenance and facilities. Um, I understand the fiscal and the physical accountability of, of the prison system. So anyway, so since beginning my career in construction, um, I've been president of Home Builders Association of Georgia. That was in 2007. And then also the Leadership Lounge um, here in Lowndes County, um, as well as serve on the board of directors for uh, Wiregrass Technical College. So those things too have kind of gone hand in hand with what I've, what I've done and what I did with the prison system and my volunteer efforts. And I think that those in particular, um, again, gave me additional insight into you know, not only building relationships and getting to know people here, but, um, but also learning about the dynamics of city county government and the inner workings and just, again, just making relationships that are extremely valued to me, valuable to me. Um, so all in all, um, and others, the other uh, boards and agencies that I've served on have allowed me the opportunity to be part of helping to eliminate challenges for the residents and for those who are wish wishing to relocate their businesses here. Um, I want to continue to find ways to make community appealing to small business. Um, work with small business, not against. Just the other day, um, I went to, to get a permit and I found out that 
Well, the your business license, you know, once annually, once well, they're both annually, but one renews in January, one renews in March. You know, you got to have your taxes done before you can get your business license renewed. Just the little things that frustrate us as business owners that we need to work on. I understand planning is zoning. Um, I understand that um, the plan review, permitting, um, licensing. I know that we need to make that all easier for small businesses. And after all, they're the bulk of our tax revenue. So also. I was fortunate enough and am fortunate enough to serve as Vice President of the Zoning Board of Appeals and I take that position very seriously. We are a decision-making body as the Zoning Board of Appeals and Gretchen serves on that board with me as well. Um, I respect individual property rights while protecting the beauty of our community. I also understand the property values and how other people can affect those. Um, but unfortunately all that serve on those, these boards or have served on boards they don't always understand that. So I see the need for us to really take seriously these appointments that are being done. And there needs to be some oversight um, towards those appointments. And I know that that was one of the things that actually came out of the, the, exist, the current commission's um, retreat that they had re recently. So um, even volunteers have to be held accountable. Um, I like what I've seen with um, the relationship between Chairman Slaughter and, and Mayor Gale. Now, I think there's huge strides that have been made in bridging that gap that's already been talked about tonight. Um, and I want to be part of that. Um, we must also support local professionals in our area. One of the things that I said this at the last meeting that we had that, um, that really bothers me is as a, as a construction person and as a contractor, I see, you know, a lot of times out of town architects and, and construction personnel are, are hired and brought in. And I mean, we've, we've got to, when we have qualified, competent people in our, in our community, really we've got to give them the opportunity first. You know, again, as long as they're, they're qualified and competent to do the job. Um, also, as a small business owner, um, I understand, you know, that part of my business is I have to display honesty and integrity and fiscal responsibility and all the stuff that, you know, that, you know, transparency. Um, those are all things that I have to do day to day in my business. I, mean, I, I don't have a choice. I have to do those things in my business. And those are the same things that I want to do as county commissioner. So I appreciate the opportunity to speak tonight. Thank you. And I'll be around later. Thank you.